Hey everyone, John here and welcome back to the Toy Box. So today I'm going to show you a couple of figures that I was thrilled to get. These are from the Hasbro Marvel Legends series and we have Colossus and Juggernaut. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay guys, let's start off by looking at Colossus. Now Colossus is one of my favorite X-Men after I watched all of the X-Men movies as well as the Deadpool movies. I just think he's likable as a person and I really like his powers. So that's why I wanted my first Marvel's Legends figures to feature him in some way. So let's take a look at the figure. So we're going to go ahead and take a 360 degree look. First, let's look at his head. So um, I like the details of his head. And if you look, you can see the posability. He can say no or yes. So that's how his head poses. Now his torso, he has the red and yellow costume. I think mine has a little mishap right here, but that's okay. Um, his torso can move a couple of ways. He can move backwards, so you can see from the side. Or it can move all the way forwards. You can see that from the side as well. Let me move the arm out of the way. There we go. And from the back, you can see the same thing. You can see how he goes back and forth. Now, let's take a look at his arms. So his arms are nice and shiny. Uh, it almost makes me forget that this is a metal, that this is not a metal figure. See, I even said metal figure right there. Because of the shininess of the figure, it makes me believe that it's still metal. Um, so there are the arms. The arms can go all the way up like this. And they can kind of go a little bit back. Um, he gets stopped because of his back right here. So this is as much as you can go. And then it's the same thing for the other side. You can go up like this. And you can go back like that. Um, the arms also bend this way. They bend back. And then they bend forward just like this. And his wrists are also turnable. They can turn all the way around, but this is the way that looks natural, at least. And the head, the headband, the uh, wristbands move around like this. Now, Colossus also comes with a couple of extra hands. So let me show you. This is his right hand from when making some fists. And this is the left hand. See? So, now we can move down to Colossus' waist. Now we have his X-Men belt right here. The belt is actually movable, too. So it just moves back and forth with him. It's good for when you want to, to pose uh, his hips. So you can go around like this. And around like that. See? There you go. And now, we can get to Colossus' legs. So his legs are pretty flexible. Um, they go all the way up here, like this, and they don't go that far back, though. So it's a lot more flexible than I thought his legs were going to be. And if you look, it's the same thing for this one. See? Um, his legs turn this way. So that's another flexibility. The knees can go up, so you can make them give you a knee, just like that. And his ankles move, so you can move all the way to that. You can move up to the front like this. And there are many different ways you can pose Colossus. I think I like the because he looks so much like a pro wrestler. I like the the wrestling pose the most. So let me go ahead and get that up. There we go. Now the figure can't, does have trouble standing sometimes. But there you go. So there he is. This is the X-Men Colossus. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Juggernaut. So while I admit that I got the set because of Colossus, I have to admit that Juggernaut is the main event of this set. And it's definitely the bigger figure. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's start with Juggernaut's face. 
Now, I like the details in this face. This is a really mean guy, as you can tell. One thing to note about the, the helmet is that the helmet doesn't come off of this particular head. So you have, uh, you can move the head like this, yes or no. A little bit yes, but mostly no. But the head does, the helmet does not come off of the head. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to show you guys the alternate stuff a little later because I'd like you to see it on the figure. So just hold tight on that. So looking at the torso, we have a lot of detail here, which is pretty cool. I like this. Um, we have, his, he can go a little further. He can bend forward this way. And he can go a little further back. So you can see like this. A little further back, but he goes way forward. Now the arms. These arms are flexible. So you can pretty much go in any direction you want. So you can do an uppercut or a smash. It's all good. These armbands, they do move. So you can move them as you pose the figure. Um, his wrists move this way. And you get a, you can bend at the elbow. They're a little hard to, to bend. So you can take a look at this one also. See? Up and down. And then you bend it a little bit. It's a little harder. Now we can take a look at the hips. Juggernaut also goes back and forth like that. And let's take a look at the legs. Now the legs are, they can go up a little bit. But they really don't go back very far, just like that. And then the knee bends a little bit, like that. And then the ankles, a little more flexible so that he can stand different ways. Let me unbend, strain him back out. Now he has a little more flexible this way, and also with the arms. He can go up, up and down a little bit this way. So there you go. Oh, I have to show you the, the shoes because I actually like the detail on the shoes a lot. So we have the boots right here, but I like the little treads right here. So you can make some pretty nice footprints with this particular figure. So there we go. So that is Juggernaut. It's a big figure. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the alternate parts. So we'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. And here is the alternate head for Juggernaut. That looks scary, doesn't it? Can move a little bit, not as flexible as the other one. But that is a scary guy. Now we have this other helmet, his broken helmet. And he fits right over here, just like this. So there you go. That looks pretty awesome. So it looks like he just got hit really hard. But that's cool. That is the, the alternate head. Now I want to show you guys the extra hands too because these hands are pretty awesome. Now these uh, ri these uh, knuckle bands here, they do move along with the figure. Uh, not like the fist ones. The ones in the fist don't move. But these ones do. But this is pretty cool. Here's the other hand. And I love the detail on this figure. This is such a big and mean looking figure. But there you go. This is the Hasbro Marvel Legends figure of Juggernaut. Well, this has been the Hasbro Marvel Legends figures of Colossus and Juggernaut. So what do you guys think of these two? Leave your comments in the comment section below. For myself, I really like these two figures, and I think it was really worth the buy. If you guys are interested in adding Colossus and Juggernaut to your collection, then I was able to find mine at GameStop. And I've also seen them at Think Geek. Um, they're listed at $59.99. I was able to use a, a coupon that they, they applied for me at the store. So I got mine for about $54. So see what you guys can do there. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.